So um, users at this side complain of slow internet speeds and uh Shut up. I was retired. Oh my god. Yeah. You were talking to a 40 year old. You were too young. That's what I was doing. You're not 20. I was going to say old man. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is illegal, but morning YouTube or greetings. Uh, I'm on my way to the office. It's Thursday. And. Uh, I have a very interesting oh, Okay, let's try this again Hi everyone, hi YouTube Welcome back to my channel My name is John and I'm a network engineer with Falk in Copenhagen, Denmark Today I'll be taking you on a very exciting journey I'm on my way to not one, not two, but three Falk fire and ambulance stations in Denmark To resolve their internet issues It's about a 200 kilometer road trip to ensure that these heroes have the connectivity they need to save lives And additionally, we'll be making a stopover at a famous tourist destination known as Kronborg Castle So stick around, I hope you stay till the end and enjoy Due to the multiple ongoing network projects, we've decided to create this little workspace in the basement uh, to avoid making noise with all the equipment in the offices upstairs. So I'll be working from here. This is my new office for the time being, and I can't start my day without coffee, of course. And uh, cappuccino is my go-to. Let me know what's your favorite. So the first thing I need to do is to prepare the equipment that is going to be installed at one of the stations we'll be visiting today. They requested for internet access and I'm just grabbing the USB mini because I seem to have lost my last one. These are the winning behaviors that Falk encourages in our employees. So now I'm just uh, making sure I'm, I'm packing all the equipment and cables for the third station of the day. And I'm waiting for a message from my colleague before we set off. There it is, and I am off. Just give me a second and I'll be back. We will not be able to go to Helsingor Fort because now I realize that we are going first to Helsingor and then to Pukitel. Okay, what's, which one is further away? It's most expensive shopping center. <laughs> This is the Castellet Poster Port. That is also a very beautiful place. If you Just like the. Because they see the lake is in the shape of a star. See? I can't believe it's already this cold in October. I cannot believe it. So um users at this side complain of slow internet speeds and uh 
Så har vi på øh, to tre stykker. The users also complained of slow Wi-Fi speeds, but it turns out they had their own private solution, which we are not responsible for. So my colleague is just explaining to them that they can request for a Falk guest network for their private use and. Yeah, so we will be back here and I'm just making notes on this station and what needs to be done exactly and including a picture of the rack, we close off and we are off to the next station but first we take a little break at Cromwell Castle, it's my first time there Hey Ducky Ducky Yeah Guys, we're going crazy back then. Sadly, we only have about 10 minutes because we're already late for the incredible. appointment at the next station. So we're just gonna have a just quick look incredible. around. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we came. But the casa is again there's a water layer. Triple defense. Honestly, the feeling you get at this castle is, is magical, to be honest. It produces a religious-like feeling inside of me, and uh, I'm glad we came here. And this is the closest to Sweden. It's just a 20-minute ferry away, Sweden, that is. So I'm glad we came, and now we are off to the uh, next uh, station. We got a little break. Yeah. Yeah. We've just arrived at Friedenborg and met with the manager and uh, the goal here firstly is to label all our network equipment including these access points in the ceiling and additionally the uh, users complained of uh, well, they didn't complain but they requested for our file guest networks and as you can see they can't connect their tv to the internet through the corporate network so i will just uh, be enabling the guest networks in the meraki dashboard for them and and then we are out that's pretty much the issue at this station and because the firefighters live they have rooms and uh, sleeping areas upstairs so they basically live there and need uh, the guest network which you can think of as like home Wi-Fi, but provided by Falk, of course. And then that's it. And we are off to the final station of the day. She's on her. So for very small locations like this one, we basically have a slightly different setup where we send them a 5G router, a Cisco router, an access point with PoE injectors since the routers can't do PoE. We have a 5G router, obviously. Yeah, any port on it. There's a LAN, as you can see, there's a LAN, okay, LAN. port, plug it in there. Um, and we take to the power router yeah. on so any interface. No, uh, one G000 has been configured. 000. Yeah, the, yeah that's, a, that's the convention we're trying to do on every single station. We use G00 for uplink to the internet. So we're done, 5G setup, AP setup, and our TMVPN router setup. It's working. I learned something new today. 
Nice. Just confirming with the team that everything is okay and all the SSIDs are working and now we just decided to mount the access point as a final thing. Arms are tired. Oh my god. Yeah. Because lifting up and going back, back. You were talking to a 40 year old man. <laughs> you are too young, but that's what I was saying. You're not 20. I was, I was, I was going to say old man. <laughs> <laughs> That is what you have to learn. If you feel shy, you will never learn. Uh, yeah. And that's what I was doing for f uh, first eight years. Just then I decided to speak. At just wrong or right? Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> they, hopefully they correct you. Yeah, and they correct you. Surely. Mm. If they will make fun of us, then we will never learn. Yeah. It is 10 past 3 and uh, uh, we have not had anything to eat. Thank you. You too. You too. Yeah, um, it's four o'clock, past four o'clock. I just picked up this box on the reception and uh, it's two access points that were, are supposed to be replacements for these two. And these two should already be at a station, but I haven't even gotten to configuring the ports for them. So I'm behind schedule, but uh, this is all I can manage to do today. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking it to the end of this video, for sticking with me to the end of this video. And uh, yeah, God bless. I truly appreciate those of you and that uh, support me. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Peace.